The air-operated diaphragm pump is probably the most popular positive displacement pump. Due to the way they work, they are ideal for abrasive and corrosive materials. For viscous and self-priming applications, and are capable of handling fluids with solids present, making them a great choice for many differing applications. Durable, low cost, easy to maintain, and deadhead capable, air-operated diaphragm pumps will not be damaged if they are to be run dry. Pumps can be manufactured in polypropylene, PVDF, acetyl, aluminium, and stainless steel, with ATEX certified and hygienic options available. When stripping down any pump, it is important to make sure that it is clean and free from all contaminants. To strip down the air-operated diaphragm pump, you firstly remove the discharge manifold by removing the fixing bolts at the top. On removing the manifold, you should see two balls sat on top of the ball seats. Remove the balls, remove the seats, and then remove the O-rings that are sat in the recess. Next, turn the pump over and repeat the process for the suction manifold. The balls will be sat inside the fluid chamber, not sat on top of the ball seats as previously. Remove the O-rings, the ball seats, and then the balls. The air chamber is then released with the four fixing bolts. You can then remove the fluid chambers by releasing the eight bolts around the sides. With the fluid chamber removed, you can inspect the diaphragms. If these are damaged, then they can be replaced. To rebuild the pump, it's the same process in reverse. Place the fluid chamber back in place, making sure that the direction of flow is correct. Remember to tighten the bolts diagonally across from each other to the correct torque settings which can be found in the maintenance manual. When replacing the air section, please ensure it is positioned correctly by checking the mounting points. then secure with the four bolts. The suction manifold is put together. Firstly, the balls go back in, then the O-rings, followed by the ball seats. We advise replacing the O-ring during any repair or service.
Then replace the bolts and tighten to the correct torque settings. For the discharge manifold, it's the same process, however the balls sit on top of the ball seats. Finally, fix in place with the bolts to the required torque settings.